Good morning everyone, it is currently 9.30, we did not sleep much again last night because there was a mosquito in the room so from like 2 till 6 or 7 or something I was awake but anyway today we decided we're going to climb the mountain behind me but I think to be able to get onto the path we have to walk around in a circle so that's why we're heading sort of in the opposite direction but this is the mountain in Cameron Highlands which is where we're staying at the moment for the next couple of days so I thought I would vlog today it's going to be a lot of me huffing and puffing and being out of breath so just be warned and be ready for that but um excited to do some hiking it's a nice sunny day as well today we wanted to go yesterday but it was actually cloudy and rainy but it's nice and sunny today so it should be a good day so we're currently making our way to trek number 10 it should be up here somewhere on the left and then that's where it kind of officially starts there's a couple of different routes we can just go up the hill and then back down again up the hill up a bit further and then down again or up and up and down and round another way <laughs> so we'll see what we end up doing but yeah it's so pretty it kind of looks like germany or austria or something with these buildings i don't know why okay so this is the side entrance for trail 10 you have to go behind the fence <laughs> and then walk through there and then we'll find the actual path i think Okay, this is it. That's quite steep. <laughs> jungle walk 10, this way. It's actually turned into a jungle now. <laughs> this is the next way, up here. And we've got views over that little part of the city that we just walked past. already and we've barely started. It was the auto stop because it was too much so I'm taking over the vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm carrying on. I'll show you the top when I get there. It's a little bit flatter now, but it wasn't easy to get there. Okay guys, so I've made it about halfway up from where it says trail 10 to like the lookout point, and it is just too hard for me. <clears throat> so I decided to sit and wait here, and Jeremy's gonna go up and then come back down and then we'll go down together, because even going down, I think it would be dangerous on my own. This is meant to be a moderate hiking thing and I'm super unfit, I know, but like we've had to use ropes to like pull ourselves up certain sections. Jeremy's had to like push me or pull me either way to try and get me up them. Oh, Jeremy just sent me a message saying it's easier now, but before that was really steep. Yeah, he messaged me saying, I don't think you're gonna be able to make it because there's loads of like big steps and big like walls almost to climb over. Trail 10 is definitely not easy, definitely not moderate, I would say. I was thinking it'd be more like just a path that winds up the hill that's kind of, you know, steep of course, but not like this, whereas this is literally like, you can see that's the path, like there's just no steps, there's loads of tree trunks everywhere, um, it's just a really hard hike, honestly, so I've given up and I'm just going to sit and wait basically until Jeremy comes back again, so um, bit of a failure. I also think, probably a couple of reasons, I'm almost getting tired, um, this sun is very strong right now. But anyway, um, I think another couple of reasons why maybe I'm struggling is I've not really slept properly in five nights. So we arrived on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Five nights I've not slept well. I've also not had breakfast. So I think it's a couple of different factors, but mainly the fact that it's a hard hike. So complete failure today. <laughs> Never mind. At least I've got out in nature and like got my heart racing. But I think it's also made me realise how unfit I am and how I want to get fit. So I downloaded the Nike Fitness app a couple of days ago, I've done a couple of yoga things, but I really want to try and work out half an hour a day and like get my heart pumping, like get going and actually try and get fit so that I can do hikes like this. I feel bad for Jeremy that like he can't enjoy himself as much 
when we're traveling because he, either he doesn't go hiking or he does the easy ones or he goes on his own so either way it's not really fun for him so i do really want to get fit and i think this is kind of just a reminder of like okay you need to do it rosie for you but also for jeremy so okay he's just texting me asking hi i'm so i'm gonna have to go and reply to him so he's not worried but um yeah i'm just sat here waiting basically okay so a little bit flatter now it's very muddy though I just walked past two women and they told me I'm close, so I don't know if it was just to motivate me or if it's true, but we'll see. Well, this is a very different path now. <laughs> I'm in the bush. But let me show you the view, if I can get it. Okay, this is freaking cool. Okay, I made it to this big electric pole. Uh, pretty much at the top, got a cool view. I think I'm gonna try to go up there. And then I'll go back down and fly the drone because that's too close from that, but cool. So I think we started there because that's the building that was being built up and we walk around this hotel and we were just behind that so we come all the way from here down the mountain. It's cool though. It's a shame someone put that in there. It's cool with the clouds. side I just realized that that's the plantation tree Cameron Valley where we went to a few days ago that should be in a previous blog blog with like the dried patch there and that's why I flew the drone last time so yeah that's where we were because we walked like all the way there it's got a good peripheral view panoramic view I didn't show you on the way up but I had to use this rope to climb up really because it's pretty steep. So to go down, I'm gonna have to hold on to it again. But yeah, let's go back down and fly. Okay, so a bit of an update. <laughs> I was sitting there and two older Asian women came down and they were like, go, go, it's not far, 20 minutes. You can do it, you can do it. So I was like, okay. So I started going again, <laughs> but I'm so unfit. I do like 10 steps and I need to stop and I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna give it a go because I'm here, I've done half of it. If it's literally 20 minutes, I might be able to do that, especially because I've had some time to get my breath back and things, so... Right. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. I can hear Jeremy's drone. So I'm close to him. So I'm going to surprise him. <laughs> I made it up. Yeah. Are you proud of me? Well done. <laughs> we are reunited. <laughs> I made it. Me and my wonky hat. <laughs> it's so wonky. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I didn't think I could do it. I think I just needed to sit and like actually catch my breath for like half an hour and then I was like, okay, now I can do it. Are you alright though? Yeah, why? Because you're very cold. Yeah. No, I'm all right. Yeah, I have a banana. I think you could do really eat a banana. Mm. So I've made it to like a sand patch and then there's the top bit is like up there. So we're just going to do that line, like last final push. But um, I oh, did it. Oh, it's vlogging. 
What are you vlogging for, mate? I was like, I'm taking over. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's still gonna go in. You'll have seen that probably by now. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, I think if we get to the top, have a banana, some Oreos, and a drink, and then make our way back down again. But thank God for those Chinese or, I don't know, Asian women who are like, you can do it. You're young. I think people look at me though, because I look younger than I am. And because I'm fairly skinny, people think I'm fit. But I'm not at all, am I? I'm so unfit. So. Well, the hardest part is going to go down, to be honest. Yeah. Right. Okay. Going to eat a banana and then I'll chat to you at the top. Huh? Is it no already? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's another rope. This is crazy. This is not a moderate hike. Mm. If you have to use ropes, that's not moderate, that's extreme. Made it. Good view though. Apparently Jeremy's already told you this because he was vlogging, which I absolutely love. Well done Jeremy, good husband points there. But there you can see the Cameron Valley sign, that little white line, and that's where we went the other day to look at the tea plantation. So if you've seen that vlog, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty much repeating what Jeremy said apparently. But it's interesting because the clouds are coming in. I've just filmed a time lapse overlooking this area and you can see the clouds kind of coming in and going over the hills and things. So that's really cool anyway. We are now going to head back down. Jeremy's now a professional vlogger, so you can do a bit more when we go back down. Nope. Um, we want to go before it starts raining, so I think it's going to be scary and dangerous anyway. So if it rains, it's going to be even worse. So I think I'm going to spend a lot of time on my bum. So I don't know how much I'm going to film actually on the way back down again, but... Huh? Someone just climbed up in flip-flops. Anyway, um, I'll try and get Jeremy to film some bits and bobs on the way down. I'll have to try and film some bits and bobs. But I think I'm going to be on my bum, concentrating and trying not to fall, basically. So we're on our way back down. I wanted to show you this plant because it's all kind of connected a bit like honeycombs. It's so interesting how it grows. Nature is so fascinating. Like all of that comes from that one stem up there. I don't know if I can really see it properly, but anyway, we're nearly at the bit where we have to climb down the sand bit where I'm probably gonna fall. But I've not fallen so far. Huh? Gonna go down first. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy's gonna go down first. I'm sure it's we can film me on the way back down. Huh? Yeah, you'll film me, yeah. I knew that would be the case. But um, I haven't fallen. Um, we're doing well so far. Um, my legs are getting shaky because going downhill, you always think it's gonna be easier, but it's a lot of like, you know, squatting down and you're and then also pressure on your knees every time you step down. So my legs are starting to get shaky. So I'm looking forward to a shower when we get home. I'm proud of myself for doing it. Didn't think I would, but I've just got the last bits now to do. This is a moderate hike where you need to do ab sailing. It's insane. And I'm about to fall, so enjoy this. I didn't fall. Just hurt my hands. We've now got to go up and then down and then up and then down and then we're home. Okay, we've made it back down to the houses where we started off at the beginning. I think we're actually just going to go straight into town and get some lunch now because it's about 12. So by the time we get somewhere and ordered and things, it'll be like half 12. So rather than going home and showering, we're just going to get some food first. Okay, so obviously, as you know, we're down the hill now walking through town and it's just started raining. And we've got our umbrellas that we bought in Sri Lanka to protect us from the sun that we're actually using to protect us from the rain, which is good to come in handy. So we do tend to take these with us because it's either too hot with the sun or it's raining in a lot of places that we've been to. So anyway, we're now going to head for lunch somewhere. I'm not sure. I'm going to go somewhere like yesterday for lunch. I don't think I actually showed you, but it's one of those like, you know, help yourself kind of self-service things. We get like rice and tempeh and chicken and things. We might do something like that. So I'll show you today so you can see. Okay, so we're going to come here for lunch. We came here yesterday. It's basically a group of restaurants where it's like self-service and you can help yourself to like tempeh, rice, chicken, eggs, things like that. There's a couple of different ones. The one we went to yesterday, I think, had the best choice. So I think we'll go back there again. No, it wasn't this one. 
Okay, it was this one. Uh, that's the name of it, Salera Warisan number nine. And basically you get rice from there and there's loads of different dishes and you can help yourself and just take little bits of what you want. So they've got some tempeh there, which was yummy the other day. They've got veggies, fish, chicken, salads, things like that. Okay, so this is my plate. I've got some rice, lots of cucumber, two eggs, some salad, some tempeh, two black things. I have no idea what that is. Some carrots from another dish. <laughs> I didn't want the rest of it because I had chilies. And a piece of chicken. Jeremy's got two eggs as well, aubergines, chicken, tempeh, and whatever else this is. He thinks all of his is spicy, so. So it's a couple of hours later and I thought I would kind of talk to you about the hike this morning that we did. Um, it was not intermediate or medium or whatever it was they said. I thought it was definitely hard. Like you had to climb ropes maybe like three times, something like that. And, so, and then also on the way back down, having to like abseil down to make sure you don't slip. Um, there was lots of like big kind of steps as well. So you really had to kind of like, Jeremy had to push me up a few times, some of the big steps. So I definitely don't think it was medium. Um, I did almost give up halfway through. And then, like I said, two Asian women spoke to me. They were like, you can do it. And I was like, do you know what? Yes, I can. I don't give up. I can do this. So then I carried on. I'm really glad I did. It was nice to surprise Jeremy, but it was also nice just to do it for myself and to like just achieve it. Because I think sometimes I give up on things too easily. So that was really nice to have actually done it. Um, I carried my camera all day, didn't take any photographs. So that was, <laughs> that was good, carrying it around for no reason. Um, I would recommend doing the walk. I would just say that you do have to have a certain level of fitness in terms of like walking uphill, big steps, um, using ropes and like abseiling back down and things like that. Like it wasn't easy, but really, really enjoyed it. Um, we came home. I did some yoga, actually. I did like a 20, no, a 10 minute yoga using the Nike training app. I did the one with Jonah Kest. It was like a running, like a runner's cool down yoga. So I really enjoyed that. I then did a 25 minute meditation on insight timer i think i fell to sleep because james said i was snoring <laughs> but then i also did hear him say like at the end okay thank you so much for practicing and then i woke up again so i was kind of in between that like sleep and just also like really really relaxed stage really enjoyed that showered washed my hair i've been getting some reels done i've been doing some work um some editing things like that and then we've just been for dinner at a place called Rosette in town. I had chicken with cashew nuts and rice and Jeremy had chicken with black bean sauce and rice. Really enjoyed it. It was about the same price we've been paying for other meals, but it was, um, you know, it was really good, really delicious. I enjoyed that. So I think that's the end of today's video. But thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back here soon for more of my videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and have a wonderful day. Bye.